What's going on everyone? This is Cadman Cycling. Welcome back to the channel. And before we get started today, just wanted to thank you all. We just hit 200 subscribers. I wouldn't be here without you guys. Thanks for following me along with this Zwift racing as, as we all enjoy Zwift together. So thanks so much for your support. Definitely wouldn't be here without you. But with that being said, let's jump into this race. This is the Herd Racing League. It's the Bullseye Points race. And this one will take us six laps around the volcano circuit for a total of 27.4 kilometers, which is just about 17 miles. And we'll have about 140 meters of elevation gain in this race. So as we cross through the start banner here, there's a, a decent sized lead in it might be about two and a half or three kilometers, taking us from downtown Watopia to the volcano. And then once we get there, we'll take six laps around and through the base of the volcano. So this was a category C start. We have 25 riders today in category C, but there will be other riders on course. It was a bit of a staggered start. So I believe the D category riders started five minutes before us, and then A's and B's will start five and 10 minutes after us. So we'll see a few other category riders on the circuit, but they'll be at different points in their race, so won't be racing against them here, which is kind of nice. We start with this category C, uh, see if we can stick with the front group as long as possible. I started with this featherweight power up, uh, saw we hit a, a bit of an uphill here. Without knowing the course too well, I was kind of assuming with six laps around the volcano circuit that we'd get a power up each time around, which, which we will end up getting. So just went ahead and used that featherweight figured any any help would be good on this lead-in and it isn't a very hilly race so I saw that three percent incline and decided to use it also saw the other rider using it so I think it was a good point and I mentioned it earlier but this is a points race so it's with the herd racing league but how this points race works is that each lap around the volcano circuit the Riders will be awarded points, so it's not all about who gets to the final finish line fastest. Uh, there's a, a bunch of different segments throughout the way where you can get points that add up to the total. Uh, I believe the most points are still awarded at the finish line, uh, but it is helpful to be on the front, or at least as close to the front as you can, for each lap around the volcano circuit. As we go ahead and skip forward, so... We finished the lead in. We're actually coming to the end of the first lap of the circuit here, but just wanted to show a full lap around the circuit. So this is the, the very end of the first lap as we're getting towards the second. And it's not a very hilly lap, but this kind of main feature at the end, this riser into a bit of a flat, but kind of a false flat as it continues, continues going uphill into the final banner makes for an interesting finish. It's an uphill finish as jumping back to the points racing. We do have a few riders sprinting off the front. Uh, I put in some higher Watts, but not too much that I don't, don't want to sprint and burn myself out, especially if we're going to be doing this for six laps, but do want to make sure I'm kind of close to the front. So like I said, now just started the second lap. Uh, we'll show this full lap. I'll just go ahead and speed it up a little bit. So lap two, 4.1 kilometers. Each, uh, each lap around the circuit is 17 meters of elevation gain. So really not a whole lot. Um, that last kicker is a lot of it. And then there's another kicker kind of right before the finish as well kind of before we get into the base of the volcano. So neither of these are climbs really, but there are some uphills going into the finish line that'll be a deciding factor in this race. But jumping back into the point standings, I'll actually show on the screen right now, uh, without showing the names of the riders, the final standings, just to get an idea of what it looks like. So the column is called Preems, so that can also be seen as points. So each time through the lap banner, certain, a certain amount of points are awarded to each of the riders. And I think in this case, each lap, uh, it's 
50 points to the rider that gets through the lap banner first, 49 to second, 48 to third, and so on. So we only have about 25 riders here, so since we're not over 50, everyone will be getting points as they cross, cross through the banner. As we kind of go through the, the middle of the volcano here, so this circuit goes around the base of the volcano, but makes two jumps through the, the middle of the volcano. So here we're about halfway through the volcano circuit lap. So we went through the middle and then finally when we get to the lap banner, we'll also be going through the base. Points racing is really a lot of, it's fun because it's different. So. Again, it just adds a new strategy into these Zwift races. Um, it's amazing how many different kinds of Zwift races are available now, whether it's just a C category race, whether you're racing with everybody, whether it's a points race, whether it's just a normal first to the finish wins race. Uh, there's so many different options and just so many times available to race. It makes it a lot of fun. And I think that really shows how much Zwift is growing in the past couple of years even. Uh, riding even a year ago, 12 months ago, just didn't seem like this many races were available. And now there's so many groups that are putting on these races. So we're getting to the end of the second lap here. And that's the finish of our lap. So that was one lap around the volcano circuit. But this is the herd racing league which herd seems like it's one of the bigger groups with Zwift. a lot of riders here you don't have to be part of the herd group to join these races but they just kind of put on schedule the races uh, and anyone can join so it's a lot of fun so my heart rate's uh getting up there at 188 beats per minute uh legs are kind of hurting too the first couple laps i felt all right but kind of going up these that kicker at the end while people are sprinting to try to get points at the end of each lap really starts to take its toll um i did my best to kind of try to put out a higher power but keep it a bit more steady without sprinting uh because i knew i wouldn't have it in the legs if i tried sprinting every time but definitely started taking its toll so now we're at the end of the third lap um starting to kind of think the same way that I need to start saving energy at the end of these laps uh, as we're going up kind of this final uphill climb coming into the banner I no longer am thinking that I want to be in the top five I'm more just thinking about surviving and thinking about the the race as a whole so the other thing is everyone just starts putting in watts right here so if you don't up your wattage you'll get dropped so I recognize that I'm at 300, 350 watts and I'm still kind of moving backwards through the group. Again, I don't want to put out more, I don't want to sprint because I really am starting to feel it in the legs right now. And we're still about halfway through the race, a little over halfway if the lead in's included, but points racing really strings out these groups um, as people sprint for the lap banner each time around. Uh, you end up with a few people off the front, you end up with kind of a, a bigger group in the middle, and then a few stragglers behind. So until this lap, I had generally been in the front or in that middle group, uh, but this time around, kind of find myself off the back a little bit. I go ahead and use the power up that I got through the line, which is this drafting boost, to catch on with this middle group if I can. Uh, it actually worked out perfectly for me is there's a downhill coming up here. So really wanted to, to be able to jump back on with this group. And I am on this downhill, but we'll go ahead and skip forward. This is that same group. So now coming to the end of lap six, I know last time was a bit of a struggle. So I kind of got dropped off the end going up this hill. Uh, luckily that drafting boost kind of saved me. I was able to jump back on with the group, but here we are again, another another lap around, so legs are hurting a bit more now. But still recognize that I need to put out some power up this hill if I want any chance of staying with this group. 
It is a little bit smaller now. Uh, a few more riders have been dropped off the back. As I'm kind of falling behind the front here in seventh place, it looks like there's one, one or two riders behind me in this group, but it's really become a pretty small front group. And this time it's even more strung out, but there's also no middle group left for me to jump on here. Uh, there's only a few riders in the front. It seems like there's three that kind of got away, and then there's a line of four of us just following, kind of not having any benefit of, of a draft, but just trying to catch back on. And this is where I, I just, the legs were hurting a bit too much. I kind of realized I wasn't going to be able to catch that front group, so I kind of watched them ride off into the distance, never to be seen again. So got dropped there by the front group. Went ahead and skipped forward now, just in the last kilometer or so. Looking on the right hand side, I'm now in 11th out of 25, so there were a few other riders that had passed me. This big group going by now looks like it's a B group. So I mentioned earlier, there's a, a lot of other riders on this circuit. Kind of an interesting time for them to pass us. I had this rider um, in 10th place ahead of me it was about three or four seconds, but as that B group went by, up to my watts, was able to kind of get a little couple extra seconds of draft, and now he's just one second ahead of me. So coming with just 300 meters left, but on the uphill, so it's not yet a full out sprint. Um, but recognize I might be able to catch this guy. And there's a few other B riders, so I'm not exactly sure which one he is. So I just put in an all out sprint. It turns out he was the one that I already passed, but at the time I was I was tired. I just saw a group of three riders and wanted to make sure that I, I got by whichever was the C rider, which I was able to do. So that's the Herd Racing League. Uh, that was a fun points race. It, it's a lot of fun to kind of change up the strategy, add some variety into Zwift racing. Um, I used to just sit at Crit City <laughs> for most of my races, but it's a lot of fun and really builds kind of the different styles of racing, overall builds endurance and makes all of us a better rider. So final standings, I got sixth on Zwift power, but thanks for sticking in here, guys. I really appreciate you being here. Like I said, we hit 200 subscribers and it wouldn't be without you guys. So thanks for being here. Thanks for sticking in. And until next time, this is Cadman Cycling and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.